The American football sport can be overwhelming to newcomers, with its multitude of positions and intricate plays. However, gaining an intermediate understanding of this complex and strategic game is the key to appreciating the fascinating roles played by each position. Let's dive in to better understand the specialized traits and roles of players, from the skilled positions on offense, to the tenacious defenders, and even the precision specialists on special teams. On the offensive side of the ball, each player has a specific position and role. Let's start with the skilled positions, where the action begins. The quarterback is the leader of the offense, responsible for calling plays and directing the team. They receive the snap from the center and can either hand off the ball to the running back, pass it to a wide receiver, or run it themselves. The quarterback must have good decision-making skills, accuracy, and strong leadership qualities. Because of this high profile and vital position, the quarterback is usually the captain of the team. Typically positioned behind the quarterback is the running back. The primary role of the running back is to carry the football and gain yards on the ground. It must possess speed, agility, and the ability to read the defense to find the best running lanes. Additionally, running backs are often used as receivers in the passing game, making them versatile playmakers. Lining up near the running back is the fullback. A versatile position that often works in conjunction with the running back, the fullback primarily serves as a lead blocker in running plays for the running back. They pave the way by clearing paths through the defense, taking on linebackers or defensive linemen. Fullbacks need to be strong, have excellent blocking technique, and be willing to sacrifice personal glory for the success of the team. Positioned on the outside of the offensive formation are the wide receivers. They are responsible for catching passes from the quarterback and gaining yards through the air. They need to be fast, agile, and have excellent hands to make difficult catches. They either can line up on the outside or in the slot and run various routes downfield to create separation from defenders. Lined up on the very front of the offensive formation is the offensive line, which consists of five players, the center, two guards, and two tackles. As a cohesive unit, their primary goal is to protect the quarterback from the opposing team's pass rushers and create running lanes for the running back. However, each of the three positions plays a distinct role, so let's highlight the differences. Positioned directly on top of the ball, the center is the anchor of the offensive line. They are responsible for starting every offensive play by snapping the ball to the quarterback and for providing leadership and communication to the rest of the line. Their ability to execute precise snaps, read the defense, and block effectively is vital for the success of the offense and the team. Lining up on the interior of the offensive line on either side of the center are the offensive guards. Their primary responsibility is to block opposing defensive linemen, preventing them from reaching the quarterback or disrupting running plays. Offensive guards need to have good strength, agility, and the ability to quickly read and react to defensive schemes. Positioned on the edge of the offensive line are the offensive tackles. Their main job is to protect the quarterback from the edge rushers, who are typically fast and agile. Offensive tackles must possess excellent footwork, lateral quickness, and long arms to keep pass rushers at bay. They also play a key role in creating running lanes by sealing the edge and blocking for outside running plays. Closing out the offense are the tight ends, who play a hybrid role in combining the skills of a receiver and an offensive lineman. They are strong blockers who can also run routes and catch passes like a wide receiver. However, they also provide flexibility in the offensive scheme, often lining up on the line of scrimmage or in the slot. The tight end combines size, speed, and strength with excellent catching, blocking, and route running abilities. Now that we've covered the offense, let's turn our attention to the defensive side of the ball. The defense's main objective is to stop the offense from scoring. The first line of defense is the defensive line, which is comprised of defensive tackles and defensive ends. Their primary task is to disrupt the offense by rushing the quarterback, tackling him behind the line of scrimmage, which is a sack, or stopping the running back behind the line of scrimmage, which is a tackle for loss. The defensive line must possess strength, speed, and excellent technique to overpower offensive linemen and make plays. That's what they have in common, but what are the differences? The defensive tackle are positioned on the interior of the defensive line, and their focus is to stop the interior running game by penetrating the offensive line, shedding blocks, 
and making tackles. They also play a crucial role in collapsing the pocket and pressuring the quarterback, making it difficult for them to find open passing lanes. As the position name suggests, the defensive end lines up on the edges of the defensive line, opposite from the offensive tackles. Their focus is on rushing the quarterback and containing outside running plays. They need to have a combination of pass rushing moves, coverage skills, and the ability to set the edge against the run. Lined up behind the defensive line are the linebackers, who are versatile players that can defend both the run and the pass. They are responsible for tackling running backs, covering tight ends or running backs in the passing game, and blitzing the quarterback, which is another term for rushing. There are two designations for this position, outside linebacker and inside linebacker, that their only difference is their position on the field. Linebackers need a combination of speed, strength, agility, and football IQ to replays and make quick decisions. A quick note that sometimes you'll hear the defensive position known as edge. This position is essentially a defensive end that can also play a linebacker position based on which defensive formation is being called for that play. We'll go over different defensive formations in another video, but for now, just know that an edge player is a hybrid role, kind of like the tight end is on offense. Lining up on the outside across the wide receivers are the cornerbacks. Their sole purpose is to defend against the wide receiver and aim to prevent them from catching passes. They must possess excellent speed, agility, and exceptional coverage skills to stick with fast and elusive wide receivers. Cornerbacks play a critical role in disrupting plays and for intercepting the ball. Positioned on the last line of defense, the safeties are responsible for preventing big plays and covering the deep part of the field. They need to have a strong understanding of the game, good tackling skills, and the ability to read the quarterback's intentions. Safeties can also rush the quarterback or help in run support, making them versatile players in the defense. There are two distinctions for this role, a free safety and strong safety. The free safety is positioned on the weak side of the defensive backfield to watch the play as the play unfolds. The strong safety is placed on the strong side of the defensive backfield to play closer to the line and stopping the run or covering the tight end. In addition to offense and defense, there is a third phase of the game known as special teams. This phase involves specialized players who handle kicking and punting duties. Kickers play a crucial role in scoring points for their team. They are responsible for kicking field goals after a successful offensive drive or extra points after a touchdown. A field goal is worth three points while an extra point is worth one. Kickers need accuracy, leg strength, and the ability to perform under pressure. Not only are kickers essential in providing the team with valuable points, but they are also crucial in executing successful kickoffs. A trivial position compared to the rest of the skilled positions on the team, the holder is responsible for holding the football in place for the kicker during a field goal or on an extra point attempt. Their main role is to catch the snap, ensure a clean placement of the ball in a short time to allow the kicker to make an accurate and successful kick. Most teams will double this role with a punter or backup quarterback and not reserve a roster spot solely for this position. Another focus position is the long snapper. They specialize in accurately snapping the ball to the holder during a field goal or extra point attempts. Their snaps must be quick and precise, allowing for a seamless transition to the kicking operation. This role needs to have consistent snapping technique and the ability to deliver the ball accurately under pressure. Not to be confused with the kicker, the punter's primary responsibility is to kick the ball as far as possible downfield to the opposing team after an unsuccessful offensive drive. The goal is to pin the opposing team deep in their territory, making it more challenging for them to score. Punters need to have a strong leg for long punts and the ability to angle the ball to limit the return yardage. Finally, the return specialist, or kickoff returner and punt returner, is the last specialized position. They are responsible for fielding kickoffs or punts and advancing the ball as far as possible or to score a touchdown. Their primary objective is to provide good field position for the offense by eluding defenders and gaining significant yardage. Both returners must possess excellent speed, agility, vision, and ball security skills to make quick decisions and navigate through coverage teams. 
it's rare for a team to have this role designated to a single player, so it's doubled up, usually by a cornerback, running back, or a wide receiver. Whether it's the skilled positions on offense, the tenacious defenders on defense, or the precision specialists on special teams, every player in American football has a unique role to play. Each position requires specific skills and contributions to the team's overall success. If you enjoy learning about sports or sports-related topics, please consider subscribing.